the transition from mechanical to digital is happening and it's happening increasingly fast. Just thinking about the last couple of years, you see every year there's a speed up. Even in more conservative markets like in Central Europe, in Germany or in Austria, where we are today, it, it, you see it now really happening in new build and also in more in commercial buildings that were in the past perhaps mechanical master key systems or, or pure mechanical locking. Now you can see these buildings get connected, get more advanced security systems. Regulation was always there in the security industry. I mean, most of our systems are based on local mechanical standards. Mm -hmm. But the difference with the digital regulation is it appears now very, very fast. So the European Commission has put a lot of effort behind it. And not only the European Commission, the US is doing the same. Asian uh, markets are doing the same. And what's, what's happening here is that we have a, a couple of regulations coming in that will impact the digital security industry heavily. First one is NIST 2, which is now going through the local go governmental regulations. So there will be local laws in, in different countries that will bring the standard regulation into effect. Then there's the CRA, Cyber Resilience Act, that is coming. Banking has been uh, driven a long time from DORA. There's the EN 5600 in data centers and, and, and. So there's a lot of regulation that drives demand. Okay. That drives demand for higher physical security that is combined with digital systems. Again, I mentioned audit trails, but there are also many other elements to this. I think that the, the important thing is for a global corporation, for a multinational corporation like Asablo is, these are standards across country borders. So there's regulation coming across the continent more or less. But in the countries, you still need locking systems, security systems that comply with local regulation on a different level. We have the advantage that we can serve our customers on the top level with the digital standards, but also with the mechanical standards that are associated. I mean, uh, for us, we have a couple of different connected devices. We, we call it connected locking devices. So it's, it's devices on different levels, how, how they connect to, to ESC, electronic access control systems. And for us, most important are factors like sustainability, reliability, security, but also innovation in the product. What is key there is energy consumption. So the, our main purpose, our driver is reduce energy consumption in these devices. So bring the energy demand down or reduce the battery or eliminate the battery. We have a couple of energy harvesting uh, systems already, and this will be more and more in our portfolio. With the connectivity, we can also reduce the need to go to a lock for maintenance. So there's less CO2 emission when you approach a lock, when you have to drive to a remote location. The first thing is that, that cloud is not the product. Cloud is an, an, a technology, a technology stack that actually provides a new opportunity for the industry. And also from, from a future perspective, there are scaling effects in it. So there's efficiency, but there's also higher security over time. And I think the, the whole perception of the cloud technology in the industry has shifted slightly in the last couple of years. There was a, a hype maybe five to, to eight years ago to say everything goes cloud. Actually, we see this now in a different way because of the geopolitical changes, because the, the whole economic boundaries are shifting a bit between the nations. There's a lot of movement that data comes back home hmm. because there are governments, but also industries or corporates or even a smaller mid-sized company that take a lot of, put a lot of attention where the data is actually going especially for higher security applications, on-premise is coming really back. On-premise in a combination with, uh, service, uh, with cloud services combined, with also SaaS services uh, in, in combination for maintenance, monitoring, whatever. The pure cloud is something that we see more in lower security applications that also scale faster, especially in Europe. 
I think the two areas are coming together closer and closer. It's the the security responsibles in the in our customer uh, at our customers still decide about the security concepts, but when we then see there is cloud technology involved, there is power over Ethernet involved, there are connected devices involved. IT comes into the context very, very quickly these days. So there's a, it's a stronger connection between the two departments. I think one lighthouse project we, we have and that I tend to refer again and again is the Helsinki airport. So the, 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 the new Finnabia airport. Because wherever you go there, you will see an ASA Abloy or Abloy security system. And this was done with the uh, operator of the airport end-to-end. -end. So we developed the concept together. We worked with the right partners. And actually, we could equip the whole airport with the full product range of ASA Abloy. So from the door closer to electronics, uh, electronic security systems, etc., etc.